It's a great press box, gorgeous press box, gorgeous stand. The whole facility is. It's fantastic. Quarterback Dan Becker. Dan Becker does the honors of getting us underway with the kickoff. And Hilbert will start with some excellent field position after Corey Zauringer gets him out to about the 35, 36 yard line. Ryan Splacek, number 53, one of the first guys to make contact. One thing I've always known about Hilbert football, they fire off the ball. That's always been a staple of Hilbert football. Offensive linemen will fire off the ball. And it'll be Ryan Schusler, the quarterback for Hilbert tonight. And they give immediately to Mike Dahlman. There's Levash. And Hilbert going with a different quarterback tonight as well. Yep, got some ankle problems with starting quarterback, so they're going with the young guy. But he said they won't change anything just pretty. You know, I was watching him pregame. I even told him, I said, wow, does he throw a nice ball. Great motion, nice arm. I don't think they'd be afraid to put it up if they need to. Eight-yard gainer on that last play brings up second and two from the 45. And he's going to be a little bit short. There was Andy Klain on the carry. Hunter Grant with the stop. And they say first down. But Teddy, of course, is the first. Wrong call of the night. <laughs> that angle there? Well, it was it, the angle, as we right, talked about. The exactly. angle can always fool you. So yeah. it is a first no down question. for the Wolves. Brings up first and 10 from the 47. <laughs> and another five, six yard pickup. Dalman again. Yep, nothing fancy. Take her on the left side this time. Josh Miller, number 54, for Brilliant making the stop. It's been their staple. They've had great running backs over the years. <clears throat> I remember Coach Morose on Wes, outstanding ball player here, defensive back. Wolves into Lion territory, ball on the 48 now. Brings up second down at five. And another first down. Hunter Grant, make another stop for Brilliant. Tell you what, they're averaging about four and a half yards of carry here too, on the ground. Hilbert is. And, and nothing tricky about it. Just chopping up. Well, when you got a quarterback making the start like this, and he's not your starting quarterback, it's always the greatest thing in the world to have a great run game. Take the pressure off him right off the bat. Ball now on the 38. Brings up another first down for the Wolves. A little motion will get a flag in this. Here you go. Bit of a jump. Was he induced? Okay. On forward. Nope. Okay. A dead ball. Oh, it's been lucky weather-wise so far, haven't On the defense. Well, it's a beautiful Still night. It's a little down. chilly. We, little chilly. we haven't seen it uh, this chilly all season long. But at least it's dry. Beautiful night. So first and five from the 33 now. Wow, and nice play. The backfield, yep. Yep, Tony Foytek, number 52, great job. Was going with the motion, and when the running back stopped to try to cut back against the grain a little bit, Foytek was waiting for him there. I think that's the first play where they didn't pick up about four and a half to five yards. Take another look at counter, it, huh? Yep. Counters the wing back. Nowhere to go. Nice play by Foytek. So backs him up to the 41, second down. Keeping those legs churning. Andy Klain trying to pick up a couple. Josh Miller again making the first contact for Brilliant. It's going to be a short game. They keep it on the ground like this. I mean, like last week, we had the running clock. <laughs> well, not quite, <laughs> quite that fast. <laughs> had never seen that before in high school. Nope. The running clock like we had in the second half last week. East-West game over in Green Bay on Saturday. What an experience that was. That was amazing. One was meeting between those two schools. An amazing day. Third and five on the 38. Counter again. First down and then some. Trent Dietrich. Looked like basically the exact same play to the left side that they ran this way where he stuffed for, for no gain. Fake the fullback up the middle. Give it to the wing back coming around the left side. Get the guards pulling out there. Opens up the hole, kicked out the defensive end. Leave it up to the running back. Trent's second carry, that time he picks up 11 yards, now has 16 in the game. 
So another first down, ball up to the 26 now. Give to Dietrich again. And again, another five yard gainer. Well, they're really opening it up there. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'll tell you the guy really leading the way there is Lee Petton, number 72 in the interior, doing a real nice job. Pulling again that time, take it around the left side. 72, the right guard. So a second down. Picked up six on that last play. Ball on the 20 now. Dietrich again. Well, they like that play, don't they? Yep. They get Pet on pulling again from the right guard spot and leading the way. A little bit of misdirection, but not much. I think they just want him to pretty much let the ball carrier follow him wherever he goes. Big guy, 6'4", 240 pounds. Brilliant with a nice job on this one, too. You know, when you got somebody that size, why not? Use him every way possible. And that's what they're doing. So picked up one on that last First play. First third down, I think, in the yep. drive. Absolutely. Third down and three to go. Dalton. Reverse. Wow. Yep. Nothing happening there. Corey Zaringer brought down. Chris Levash with a stop. Inside reverse. Remember we saw that last week. It worked real well last week for Green Bay East. This exact play right there with the inside reverse. And Levash turns out the light. So a fourth down. They lost three yards in that last play. Almost eight, huh? Yeah, but they'll go for it. Fourth and seven. Ball in the 24. The pitch to Dolman. Dolman tripped up, and he's going to be short of the first down. Brilliant will take over. Well, nice defensive stand there for Brilliant. It looked like. Hilbert was going to just chop this up four or five yards at a crack, take it all the way down inside the 10. Brilliant did a nice job right there. All of a sudden got a little bit stealth. That misdirection didn't seem to bother him as much anymore. And they did a nice job on those last three plays. Actually tripped over his own yeah, man. The heels of his, of his own man from behind. Tried to change direction there and just caught the back of somebody's heel there, one of his teammates. So the Brilliant fans, something to cheer about now as they take over on downs. First and 10 ball on the 20. Jared Barner, first carry of the game. Josh Gret with a stop for Hilbert, number 52, linebacker, six foot, 220 pounder. Brings up second down and eight. Gentleman just asked if uh, you wanted a hot dog, John. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to ask? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Do they manufacture cheese in Northeast Wisconsin? <laughs> Second and eight. Give up the middle. Fighting for those hard yards. Ryan Schusler playing both ways tonight, number 15. Grabbing him by the shins. Hanging on to the guy down about the ankles and took him down. Barnard with a couple of quick carries. <clears throat> a lot of guys, of course, going both ways in this conference. Barnard averaging about 3.6 yards a carry this season. Big play, third and one. Ball set up on the 29. And Hilbert stopped him. Boy, did they ever. The whole interior of that line, that whole interior of the line, actually leading the way, I think, was Ben Bache, was the first guy, number 61. They had a bunch of them in there, but I think, watch 61. I think he'll be the first guy to stand up his offensive lineman right there. Yep. Fills the hole, pushes the running back backwards, actually. Push Zemer back, backwards. Watch this. Zemer's the lead blocker. He gets pushed backwards right there. That's 61. Was holding stout with the pile. That was a big play. Spencer Wren in there, too. Pulling him back. High snap. Brings it down. Becker gets it away. Bumble. Muff. And Hilbert uh, recovers. So a big defensive stand for the Wolves that time. Well, both teams really stepping up, especially after Hilbert was making that nice drive. Brilliant mm -hmm. stepped up, but, uh, you know, Brilliant really couldn't do anything with that Hilbert defense. So Hilbert getting their second shot at it here. 37, 37 yard line. Number 66, Jacob Myers, a 
at center. Six foot, 175 pounder for Hilbert. Wolves start on their own 38. Yeah, it's getting a little bit tougher to come by yep. for Hilbert. Boy, that first series, first seven or eight plays, they average over five yards a carry. All of a sudden, double team on the center right there. Just nice pursuit, just all the way around. Just nice pursuit on the part of Brilliant, getting enough bodies over there. Hunter Fourth. Grant again. Fourth carry of the night for Andy Klain. Second and eight. Fumble on the Fumble. snap. Brilliant says they have it. <laughs> Which team doesn't? Which team doesn't? I was, I was, I was gonna say. Which team doesn't? Uh, there would be a defensive back. The quarterback will fumble the snap. There's a pile of 11 bodies, okay, between both. The, and a safety will come running up, pointing their direction. <laughs> I was love that. And you see that at every left. Boy, that thing was just laying there for a while. Look at that. It's down by his feet right now. Brilliant did have a shot wow. at that one, yep. Just couldn't get back to it. Well, it brings up a third down now. Third and nine. Option. Schuessler. Hunter Grant making the initial contact again. Yeah, the Lions the reacting. Play. Lions reacted as if there was another fumble on the play, but mm -hmm. the official immediately said that one was down. We'll take another look at it here. The Lions defense is just reacting nice overall right now. They're just getting after him, jetting all over the field. Also coming up. Derek Hendricks, number seven for Brilliant. So a fourth and five. Brings up a punting situation for the Wolves. Kind of hit his own man. Also hit uh, Alex Geyser, number 51 right there for and Hilbert. Hilbert's claiming that there's a fumble on the play. And it will belong to Brilliant. So Brilliant will take over. We're going to take a timeout. You're watching UPN 32. No down payment, no interest, and no payments until 2007 on all appliances and electronics. Van Vrede's has a store full of appliances and electronics. Great selection, great financing, great people, great brands. Van Vrede's is good. Look at this store. It's full. No down payment, no interest, and no payments until 2007. You realize that's a couple of football seasons before you pay anything? There's something special about that experience. Van Vrede's, why shop anywhere else? First and ten ball in the 29 is brilliant takes over. Trying to get something going here. It was Mike Zemer on the carry. Hilbert defense reacting quick once again. They haven't picked up much on the yard. Averaging, as I said, coming into this ball again, almost you're five yards a carry. Clock. Brilliant is. Well, you wonder how these kids are affected. All season long, it's been warm. It's been nice nights. Tonight's really the first cold night of the football season. But it's been the defenses so far really stepping up. Play action. Going downfield, our first pass of the ball game, and that is picked off. No, it's picked off. It. Well, <laughs> you know what? I like the fact they just let both guys battle for it. They just let both guys really go after it, really fight for it. 25 both ways. Yeah, Corey uh, Zawringer and Mike Zemer for brilliant. And you know what? In the NFL, they probably would have thrown a flag somewhere. I don't know if it would have been offensive or defensive interference. They probably would have thrown a flag because in the NFL, of course, the refs feel like they have to throw a lot of flags. Here, <laughs> two guys just fought for the football, two football players fighting for it. They let them go. Great effort, both ways. And then a good no flag. So brings up third down and nine. The passing situation, Veckert. Rolls out, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Boy, the big fellow for Hilbert, number 72 out there, Mr. Peton, showing some wheels for a guy that size. Thank you, my friend. The hot dogs have arrived. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get you on through the first quarter. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, that rush by Brilliant, nothing fancy. They weren't blitzing or anything. That There's Peton, big guy, as I mentioned, 240 pounds, but showing some nice speed, real nice speed. There must be something special about those high school Friday night football hot dogs. Oh, they're the greatest, aren't they? It's like going to the fair. You know how everything tastes better at the fair? Elfin ears, funnel cakes, fries, cheese curds, cheese fries. You're an expensive date. <laughs> Time out on the field. You're watching UPN 32.
Hi, Brett. Thanks for everything you did for me last weekend. Everything was perfect. Brett, you're the best. You're always there for me. And you never ask for anything in return. I love you, man. You're welcome. But all our customers get free installation with the All-in-One. Get free installation when you sign up for All-in-One with home phone service, digital cable, and Roadrunner. Order All-in-One and save today. So who's your agent? Welcome back to Hilbert. Live coverage on UPM 32 of high school football. Ted Stefanik and John Mino with you. As we return to action here, there's actually a, a timeout on the field. You know, Hilbert, as I mentioned, that opening drive just absolutely drove right down the field, right down the field. Looked phenomenal, brilliant all of a sudden. Seemed to, like, stop overreacting. Seems like early on, maybe a little, you know, a little excited, going with every fake, every misdirection. Right now, everybody's just staying home for brilliant. It's going to become a little bit more mano mano. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It means man on man. Man on man. Mm -hmm. Not mano on mano. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mano no. on mano. <laughs> hey, let's take a look at the Olympian conference standings right now. And you see uh, Valders and Wrightstown sitting atop the conference standings. And playing great football, both of them, aren't they? Well, Valders has taken out Brilliant and mm -hmm. Gilbert so far this season. Hilbert, Pretty much back to back, wasn't it? And they were both ranked number one in the state at yep. the time. So Valders doing a great job. Wrightstown also 3-0. In the conference, 4-0 overall. Hilbert sitting there at 3-1. They certainly have a shot at the conference championship. Brilliant at 2-1 within the conference, 2-2 two two overall. That's a little bit surprising. Back to action now. First and 10 as Hilbert takes over. Didn't get the kick out block. They love that play. They love that wide counter like that. Didn't get the kick out block out there on Troy Pratt now. Stayed home, did a nice job. DB outside linebacker type. Watch this, you need the block coming up to take him out. That would spring him. He'd have a lane going straight down the field. But just a nice job by Proctel getting past the block or the pulling guard right there and making the stop for a yard loss. Lost a yard on that one, brings up second and 11. Go. 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 right away, yeah, second and 16. Go. Yep. Moving him back. There's a movement on that left side. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Five yards, still second down. You remember years ago, mid 80s? What was uh, somebody will know here? What was the big offensive lineman that went to Iowa? What is it? Matt Ruin. That's right. Had a great career at Iowa, didn't he? Yeah. Did he play in the pros? A little bit. Yeah, with the Bills for a little bit, right? Yep. Second and 16. It's a determined run. The fullback. Andy Clean. Well, we haven't seen Hilbert go to the air yet. Certainly an opportunity here at third and 12. Give up. The middle to Don that counter again. And again, brilliant, not overreacting like they were early on. And just staying home right now. Staying over the right side, Mike Zemer, number 25 for brilliant. So that counter is not affecting them as much as it was in that opening drive. And before they snap the ball, that'll be the end of the first quarter. A very quick first quarter. We are scoreless here in Hilbert. It's brilliant. And Hilbert, second quarter action coming your way in just a moment. But first, time out. You're watching the UPN 32 Showdown Game of the Week. Greetings. Spuzzly here. My associate, Mr. Pratt, and I are digging a tunnel beneath Go Wireless World Headquarters. According to my plans, we shall soon be in a position to snatch the secret of Go Wireless, and I will own their amazing service and incredible deals. It's rather large in here, don't you think? Buy a Motorola V265 camera phone and get one free. Get 1,000 anytime minutes with unlimited call me minutes for just $39.95. Quality wireless service from U.S. Cellular. Go Wireless. At Menards, we carry the best selection of quality products for your home. Cell even soffit is on sale. 13 stylish colors to choose from, only 187 a lineal foot. Insulated Wayne Dalton garage doors add beauty to any home and are on sale. 
featuring Torque Master spring systems for quiet and safe operation. A 9x7 is $269. A 16x7 only $459. Only at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I'm Clarence from today's Furniture Advantage in Appleton. Back to live action as we begin the second quarter here in Hilbert. I think that's the first scoreless first quarter we've had for the year. It may have been. I think it was. And remember, this first quarter started with a, a very nice drive by Hilbert. Yep, big drive. And then all of a sudden, Brilliant just flipped the switch. Their defense got tremendously tough, and Hilbert struggled since then. Getting close to a block punt right here. So we take another look at this one. Ooh. He did just miss it, didn't he? Jason Reedy. Brilliant takes over. Dan Deckard. At quarterback. And a little bit of running room, but not a whole lot north and south. Nice sharp tackle that time. Mitch Coyer, number nine. Boy, when you come up from the safety spot there, you got to be real sure with your tackles. He was. If you would missed that tackle, a lot of green right here in front of us. From his cornerback spot, number nine. You know when a corner is making a tackle, there's nobody behind him. Four-yard pickup on that last one brings up second and six from the 35. Honored again. Coyer again. Also with the uh, quarterback there, Ryan Schusler, teeing up, teaming up for the stop. Brilliant going with the real quick hitters. Just absolutely trying to fire off the ball and go with the real quick hitters, giving it to the first man through. Hilbert with a lot of team speed, as we said, every time Hil Brilliant's tried to pass, Hilbert's been in the backfield. We're off the get-go. So another third down situation for Brilliant. Brilliant trying to pick up a first down. And time. I think it was just a uh, equipment timeout, actually. Just an equipment timeout, so they make the adjustment. Stay here. Once again, third down. Four to go. Beckard keeps it. He's got the first down. Made something out of that one. Didn't look good at the start. Trent Dietrich making the stop. And that's the Didn't first think that first was down. Going any place. First first down for the Lions. Mm -hmm. Slipped a little bit right there. Cut it up nicely. It's a little cut to the inside. Helped him pick up that first down. So the first one. Six yard pickup on that one. Brings up first and ten on their own 44. The give to Barnard again. And again, first man through. Number 61, Ben Bash. Put the stop fumble on the play. Well, they said, the official said that the ball was down. He was down, he was down. He said he was down. You can hear the official saying that forward progress was stopped. Big number 88 came over and put the lick on him. Brock Betcher. It looked like the ball came out, but I believe the official said that forward progress was stopped. So, take another watch, look. Watch 88 Betrick in there. I, I think yeah, it's yeah. out. Well, second and five now for Brilliant. That is tipped uh -oh. and picked off. Flag down. Picked off, and they stop the play. Why did you play the whistle? The play wasn't dead. Well, we'll see what this one's all about. Mike Morrow can't believe it. They blew the play dead. Obviously, it's going to be against Hilbert. I can't imagine it would have blown the play dead if it wasn't. Yeah, you don't see that very often. I don't think I've ever seen that. thought we had another case of what we had in Luxembourg last week. Remember that one? can't play over again because it was an inadvertent whistle. Inadvertent whistle. What's that? Inadvertent whistle, there was a flag. They're gonna elect to replay the down. No, nothing. All right. 
Go back to previous spot. Huh? What are they going to call pass interference? Is that what the initial flag was? You have an intervening whistle on the play. Offense the down. They're playing the down over. They're playing the down over, but they never said what the flag was thrown for. There must have been a reason for the flag to come out. Good job. Good job. Well, because um, yeah. they threw the flag before the whistle. Uh, I don't so, know if our replays can pick up the, the sound I would of the whistle. Okay. I just, I assumed maybe he was going to call pass interference on Hilbert, and that's why he blew the whistle, because the play was dead anyway. But so normal. let's wait and Everybody see. listen. Yo, Alabama, yo. I don't know. You got me in that one. Well, I mean, typically, you're not blowing a whistle on a play like that. You right. let the play play out, whether it makes it to the end zone or not, and sure. then you then you figure out what why happened the flag afterwards. Was thrown. Right. Because there could be another penalty on the play. There could be a lot of things that could happen. So you let the play play out. So I don't I don't know. And usually, when there's a, you know if there's an inadvertent whistle fine unfortunately for in this situation that was a turnover yeah for, I, that's for what they, Hilbert, again, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what the flag was for why did, why did they throw the flag in the first place I, I don't know I think that's what Pete Kittle was asking <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually here it is again if you're Pete you might want to just say okay we'll take that over yeah, again. Oh, no question if I was <laughs> Pete, I'd, <laughs> really did I, I didn't really see interference well the guess. flag came from the near sideline yeah okay. boy and he was off to the races too wasn't he? let's let's see what we got Mark here Mark okay okay we're gonna take it here we go 15 yards automatic first down from the spot over here Scott yeah I'm gonna go talk to the coach okay so they are saying pass interference then pass interference okay well, that makes sense, at least, as far as why a flag came out. Okay. Well, let's say one more. Can I say one more time? There's Coach Moreau. I know he doesn't agree with what's going on. There. One more look at him here. Let's go to the right side. All right. Pass interference. All right. Either Coach Mill is really upset on the sidelines. You're wrong. Both of you are wrong. Well, I mean, if the call was going to be pass interference, then this would have been the result right. anyway. However, that was a very strange way to get to this. Exactly. <laughs> I'm with you. Because even though it was intercepted, there, there was a pass interference call. So, right. You can certainly understand the frustration by Hilbert right now. We talked you guys right into that. Excellent. So first and ten, ball on the 38. Brilliant still has the ball. Barnard picking up a few. Ren Spencer, big number 75. Grabbing him, hanging on, taking him down. Spencer five now, he's 220 pounds. 75 for Hilbert right there. Strong legs in the part of the running back, though, too. Turning for a couple of extra. Actually, for the two he did pick up. Brilliant. Into Wolves' territory, sitting on the 36-yard line now. Second down. Man in motion is Derek Hendricks. Hendricks close to a first down. Trent Dietrich, number 20, first got to trip him up. Big play for Brilliant right there. Number about seven. Four down territory, I would imagine, at this point. Very nice double team block out there. He's got the hand on, raked it down the thigh. So third and one. Fecker. Give the part out. Yep. They like that quick hitter. They don't like the delay plays. They don't like stretching out too much. They like the quick hitters. That's what's been working for them here. A little more straight about this drive. You bet. Although they've mixed it up a little bit on this drive. Becker doing a little running. Yep. Ran the option a couple of times. Yeah, no. 
So first and 10, ball on the 27. Not on the ball. He's not on the ball. He's illegal. He's first man through again. Barnard keeps his feet this time. Tough run. One of his better runs, actually. He kept his feet that time. Who's in there? We? There's their best first right down now. play of the ball game so far. It seems like they've got, you know, a little bit of something going here, a little bit of rhythm with their offense. Got a nice hole, got a nice kick out block there. Number 63 for Brilliant, I think it was, Hunter Grant. See him on both sides of the ball. Get outside the tackle! How many plays in this drive? Yeah, you well, nine carries for Barnard in the game. Second man through now. Yep, Hendricks. Hendricks got the first down. And down close to the five, but we've got a flag on the play near the line of scrimmage, John. Yep. Get him in there. Get, Get it back in there. Usually in that spot, of course, where it's something against an offensive line. Yeah. Brilliant's already backing up. It's a hold. Captain, I'm guessing we're gonna probably want to take that. You okay? So I love it about high school officials. <laughs> they don't waste time. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna want to take that one. On the offense, 10 yards from the spot, still Lee, second down. Huh? Lee, you okay? <laughs> yeah, he said he's fine. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm guessing you're going to want to take guessing. that. <laughs> well, Brilliant hasn't had much luck going through the air yet. Haven't completed a pass, I don't believe. Hi. Hi. I've only had one attempt, but uh, every time he's gone back to pass, he's had pressure. Well, that's a huge penalty, though, too, huh? Inside the 10-yard line. Now, all the way back. Wow, what are they, about the 30? Looks to be about the 30 yard line, but second and 14 is what they call it. And just a step away from picking up some big yards on that one. Yeah, the DB's coming up. Mark Thiel making the stop for Hilbert, number 24. These DBs are having to make a lot of stops, but they're doing it. The corners are coming up, the safety's coming up, and they're making the stops. And again, in a lot of situations, they're basically the last guy. He had that corner if Thiel didn't make the stop. I think that was the first carry for Chris Levash. Third and 11 now. Option again, keeping himself. Becker will keep it. He's got some room. He's got the first down. Trying to cut back and inside the 10. What a big play on third and 12. What a huge play. Just keeping it himself. I'm not even going to call it an option, just a quarterback sweep almost. Had a little bit of the fake, but there was no intention of looking for a pitch man. Just a reverse pivot, takes around the left. So yeah, he had that thing tucked away right off the bat. He was just using his running backs as blockers, not as possible, possible pitchmen. And saving the touchdown once again was Mark Thiel. So first and goal from the eight now. Becker, the give to Barnard, actually Levash. And Josh Grant, number 52, with a stop right off the bat. Grant with a hit, taking him down. Josh Grant coming up. Boom. No game left. Nice Smelter actually on that carry. Grant, six foot, 220 pounder. So second down, ball remains on the eight. Becker brings him up. Left guard, I believe. Jumped a little quick for Brilliant. Huh? Looks like the left guard. Just anticipating the snap count a little bit. Firing out a little too quick. We have a dead ball. False start. On the offense. Still second down. Well, Bruton has overcome some. This is yeah. a bizarre drive, hasn't it? <laughs> with the with the pass interference, the no interception, some penalties against Brilliant. Moved them all the way back to the 30. Now they're back to almost where they were before they had the big penalty. And they get another penalty. Second and goal from the 13. A nice defensive play right there, just staying home. Ben Spencer, number 75 for Hilbert. Tried running a little bit of that inside counter, maybe the trap a little bit, and uh, just stayed home. Let's see if they try to trap him. Man, eh, just blocking down. Yep, get the one guy coming over. Just did a nice job staying home. Hey, the big fella out there, big number 50. Donnie Hayes leading the way for him. But he got tripped up before Hayes had a chance to do anything. A 6'2", 270 pounds. Third and goal from the 13, Beckert. 
goes to the air, looking for a man that's almost picked off. That was the 13th play of the drive. What again, not nice counting pressure. the penalties. Nice pressure on the part of Hilbert. They had uh, two guys in there. Hilbert did. They had Ben Bash in there. They also had Jacob Myers in there. There's Myers right there, 66. He hasn't had time at all night long yet. He hasn't been able to get comfortable back there in the pocket. Nice effort. Well, it's fourth down situation. The ball set up on the 13. It's goal. Beckert lining up for the field goal try. Make it a 30-yard field goal attempt. And the kick wow. is up. Plenty of leg on that one. And no good. Boy, that come out like a cannon. Oh, he drilled it. Timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. You're watching UPM 32. For a limited time, take advantage of employee family prices. That's right, Huntsman. The car guys can do it, and we can too. All this can be yours for what Gene, Martin, Gene, Lee, Bubba, and Gilly pay. Take advantage of employee family pricing. Today's Furniture Advantage, two miles north of Highway 41 on Appleton's Richmond. Welcome back to live action. First play, first and 10 from the 20 was Andy Klain picking up about four yards in that play. We'll go back to the uh, field goal attempt here. And plenty of leg on this one. Must have been wide left. Huh? Wide left. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell from that angle. Girl, you guys thought he had it. <laughs> Just that's kind of hard to believe. the strength of his leg. <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, that had distance of about 45 yards at least, minimum, didn't it? I mean, it hit the track, it bounced off the track. Hilbert going a little bit more basic again, just boom, boom, <laughs> straight up the middle here. Just give it to the first man. Follow the guard, see what you can get. Clean on the Clean. carry. So a third down. They need two yards for a first. Give the Clean play. again. Yep, Clean again. It's going to be close. They're marking it right on the line. There's your right foot, left foot theory. Yep. He looks short. Well, yep, he's short. Boy, that brilliant defense has been tough here ever since that opening drive. They're going to measure? So they're going to measure. Oh, okay. Looks like at first he's going to have it, but it just couldn't quite get that drive pushing the pile enough. Nope, no measurement. Tremendously fast first half, hasn't it been? Three minutes left to go. Three minutes left. Marty Coyer back to kick for Hilbert. Flagged out. Flag. We got. Going against Hilbert, I what did we have? it looks like. Let's see if it was against Brilliant, it'd be an automatic first. But it's going backwards. The dead ball, false start on the offense. Player in a stance, three point, then lift it up. And stay over the ball. So, fourth and six, backs him up to the 25. Ball's gone. And almost, almost blocked again. Fumble on the play. They're stacking them up right now. We'll see which way this They're is going to go. Just sort it, find it. Who's got it? Brilliant has it. Brilliant recovery. Nice recovery. So another timeout on the Hendricks. field. You're watching UPM 32. Wow. I got this. Ready for a really big club? Try Subway Restaurant's hugely satisfying Big Italian Club. A full foot of toasted temptation. A half pound of turkey, ham, pepperoni, and salami. Loaded with hot, bubbly cheese. When big is what you crave, we've got you covered. The new Big Italian Club. Only at Subway. Eat fresh. Second down coming up for Brilliant. We just uh, had our first play of this drive. Beckert on the keeper, picked up about 
five yards. Yeah, I think he saw the shift in the defensive line just to said, I'm going to take it. Take five. Brilliant starting this drive and pretty good field position starting on the Wolves 47. Second play of the drive, and that's another first down for Brilliant. And all of a sudden, this Brilliant defense, or offense, I should say, starting to click here in the second quarter. Yeah, it seemed like they, about midway through the first or second quarter, we mentioned it, it seemed like they had a little bit more rhythm, a little bit more spring in their step. Tackle once again by Nate, Sh Nate Schwer, or excuse me, by uh, Mark Thiel for Hilbert, number 24. But yeah, brilliant, nothing fancy, neither team anything fancy, just pretty much basic football. Pretty strong run right there. 5'11", 185-pounder. So a first down, ball on the 33 now. Beckert in trouble. And lost plenty on that one. Well, nice play on the part of the defense. Once again, that was uh, Lee Pettod, number 72, and Ben Bash coming in there. Bash coming in there. But that's been the story of the of the first half. Whenever Brilliant tries doing anything to the sides, around the edges, slow developing, Hilbert really commits Double and pursues face, quickly and snuffs it out. Their best plays so far have just been the quick hitters up the middle, a little bit of the counters, but uh, those kind of plays have hurt them more than they've helped them. Loss of 10 on that sack. Second and 20, ball back to the 42. Green, Becker. Has a man and about a 15-yard pickup on that play. Good looking play that time. Marty Coyer making a stop number 55 Mike. for Hilbert. Got by the first guy. That's key on the screenplay. Set up nicely. Yeah. Matt Seamer. Yep. It's a nice job of the quarterback selling that one that time. Nice job by Zemer breaking the tackle, taking it down. Now it's manageable. And a third down, about five or six yards to go. First completion of the ball game by either team. Give up the middle and they stop them, from, prevent them from getting a first down. Fourth down, they'll go for it, probably gain about a yard, huh? Fourth and four. One minute to play, second quarter, obviously. Well, do you line up for a field goal? <laughs> hey, with that leg, I'm telling you. That was incredible. Let me hit that thing. So here you go, fourth down. Becker, the give. And I think he's going to be short. Smelter Ryan, on the carry. Ryan Schusler coming up to make the first hit. The young quarterback. Boy, Schusler's doing a nice job out there. Playing quarterback and linebacker. 5'8", 175 pounds. Doing a nice job. Now he just runs the sideline for a second, runs back out there. 42 seconds left. I think he'll probably run a couple of plays and head into the locker room. Hey, it's the first the time we've ever had a scoreless ball. tie, I believe, at halftime, isn't it? I believe you're right. All time. Hey. The defense is doing the job tonight. So first and 10 from the 23. Dahlman. Coming up to make the stop once again. He's made a bunch of right. Derek Hendricks, number seven for Brilliant. And inside 30 seconds, I think Hilbert's content to just pretty much let this one go. And I don't think Brilliant has any advantage in calling timeout or anything either. On second down. So this will be the last play. First half. Final seconds, flags. Yep. Right guard jump Line. for Hubert that time. <laughs> so a little delay before the halftime. On, on the snap, dead ball, false start on the offense. Still second down. Fourth penalty on Hilbert. Fourth penalty. 30 yards. They've heard, of course, the big one, the pass interference was the killer, was the difference of the first half so far. Probably a knee on this one. Runs the option a little bit. Oh, they're going for the fumble, trying to rip it out of there. They may have ripped it out of there. No time showing on the clock, either way. Okay, back up, back it up, back it up. Brings him up. First man through, submarine. Coming in, down low, hitting him at the ankles. Josh Grett. You expect them to change much here? I don't think so, because every time they've tried to throw, they've had problems. Hilbert does a great job recognizing. They've tried play action, 
no success. They've tried straight, straight drop back, no success. Tried rolling out, no success. Every time they show pass, Hilbert does a fantastic job at getting to the quarterback. So I, I don't think they can. I really don't. I think their, their bread and butter is as, as basic as you possibly can get. I think Hilbert's strength is pursuit in rushing the quarterback. Two yards on that first play. Brings up second and eight. Easy guys, Just tough easy yards. Guys I'll tell you what, I really like it. Ryan Schusler. Comes up and hits. Watch number 15, who's also, of course, the quarterback. Plays linebacker. Comes up and just lays a lick on the fullback right there. 5'8", 175 pounder right there, number 15. Jared Barnard doing the majority of the work. Picked up 32 yards in that first half. He's had the first two carries of the second half. Third and five now, ball up to the 25. Yep, see a little bit of a slow developing counter that time. That's where Hilbert really, really seems to be at their strength. Coming up number 20, Trent Dietrich. First man to wrap him up. And that was Derek Hendricks on the carry. We'll get another look at it. A little bit of the counter. Setting up play action. Hilbert just doing a good job getting into yep. that backfield. Just doing a great job. That's their strength. That right there is Trent Dietrich. Loss of three. On that carry. Becker back to punt. Well, it's gone. High punt. Wow. It's about the highest one we've seen this year. Oh. And a big hit near the 45, but he held on to the ball. Great job of yeah. hanging on to the ball. Yeah, get John Thiel right now. Get John Thiel a lot of credit for not losing the handle on that one. Yeah, hang it up like they were that kind of height. I mean, that thing was up beyond the lights. Did a great job just coming up and making the catch. and. Uh, Brock now. Listen to this. Hit. So Hilbert takes over. First and ten. Ball on the 45. The big gainer here. And Andy Clay. First man through. Vecker making the stop. Vecker didn't make the stop. It was six. One of the biggest plays we've seen in this game so far. It's almost the way Brilliance, or Hilbert, excuse me, started the ball game. Quick hitters, big gains. See if they carry up this momentum here in the second half. Playing with 24 yards in the first half and picks up 11 on his first carry of the second half. Not much that time. The big man, Tyler Spears, wrapping him up. There's number 79. Spears at 6'1", 260 pounds. Both teams really have some size on the line. You got 72 over there, Josh Whiting, 6'2", 210. They got good size there. When we talked to the kids, they knew that this game was going to be won on the offensive and defensive lines. Second and nine. Dahlman, and nowhere to go. Great pursuit, staying home, getting after it. Wait a minute, now 72 has got to be more than 210 pounds. Is anybody from Brilliant up here? He's got to be, he's got to be more than 210, isn't he? 72. 306, that's more like it. Because I'm 210, I thought if I looked like that. <laughs> I mean, the Mediterranean diet just isn't working. <laughs> Third and long now. And a big first down as Corey Zauringer comes around the near corner, picks up an important first down for the Wolves. Well, that opened it up for him a little bit. Again, both teams just keeping it on the ground. Inside reverse. They tried it early. Remember they tried it yep. one time early, didn't work. That time they broke free. It's time to get a little more spacing. Took advantage. First and ten, ball in the 31 now. They give the claim. And another big gainer, close to a first down. I think he's going to be just a bit short. Just a big hole again. Straight ahead, straight hit. Squares up the shoulders, doesn't it? Puts the head down. Got some nice size. Six foot, 180. Number 44. So a 
second down. Ball on the 21. They need one yard for a first down. Great thing, just a dive up the middle. Clean again. And he'll get the first down on. You know, we've seen, actually, but we haven't seen anything at the other side of the field tonight. On our left, on the north side, we've seen everything down on this right-hand side of the field. Both teams have been down there right around this spot. But I'll tell you what, both teams have just gotten just stiffen up whenever they get this close. We've got an injury on the field. We'll step away. You're watching UPN 32. You've heard me say Pumps knows tires. You should know Pumps. Well, let me explain what I mean. For over 65 years, Pumps' only business has been tires and service. Every one of our technicians are factory and industry trained tire professionals. Pumps Tire Professionals know exactly what type of tires and what top brand is best for your vehicle. Plus, they're experts in balancing, mounting, and aligning those tires. But now you know what I mean when I say Pumps knows tires. You should know Pumps. Remember, you played Trapper. You're full of Pumps. Okay, it's going to be great. Josh Whitting gets up and trots off the field. Hopefully, he's going to be okay. Number 72. And the Water Boys, they're getting a workout tonight. One of those Coach Morrow's grandson. Don't forget to join us next week. We'll be in Kakana as Nina visits Kakana in another FVA showdown. Two of the top teams, Fox Valley Association. Right now we've got a scoreless game. First and 10, ball on the 19. Hilbert threatening here. Andy Klain fighting for another first down. Picks up eight, maybe nine on the carry. Klain's a big gun here so far in the second half, at least in this drive. But boy, he's getting some nice block. Just holds every time he gets the ball right now. There's a hole for him. He's big enough, strong enough, at a little bit over 180 pounds. But look at this each time. He has a hole. Oh, he shed a nice, uh, did a nice job shedding the tackle by like Tony Foytek. The attempt to tackle that time. So we're getting a lot of second and shorts in this drive. It looks like they may have. Well, I don't know. Well, I thought he had it straight up the middle if he wanted it. Bounced it to the outside. It looked like he had it and then tried to get a little bit more, but he still gets the first down. So he has really been the workhorse here in the second. I thought right there he's just going to cut it straight up the middle. But took it around to the right side. Good job of the guys in the truck isolating and clean on that one. You guys do such a good job of the production. First and goal, ball on the seven now. Give up the middle. That brilliant defense, sniffing a little. About the five, boy, he is, as I mentioned, just the workhorse clean has been on this drive. This is the closest anybody's been for the ball game. Right here, right now. Second down. No one's been able to get on the scoreboard yet. Wolves knocking on the door. About six minutes to go in the third. Second and goal from the five. Give inside and stopped at about the three, maybe the four, clean once again. And that play must be designed to bounce to the right side, because again, I thought he had a, some daylight straight ahead. A bounce it to the right. Just inside the five now, huh? Third down, we may be in certainly four down territory, but we'll see. Third down and goal on the four. To give to Zawringer, and he is hit at the five and brought down, maybe lost the yard that time. Boy, great defensive play that time by Brilliant. Couple of guys in there. One being Troy Prock now, the other one, uh, Max Smelter. Just a, Smelter, just a great job defensively as they stack this one up on the counter. Well, brings up fourth and goal from the five, and the Wolves setting up for a field goal attempt here. Monty Coyer, he about a 20 real angle. He's up, and it is to the no right good. and short. No good, we remain scoreless. Quick timeout on the field, you're watching UPM 32.
Greetings. Spuzzly here. My associate, Mr. Pratt, and I are digging a tunnel beneath Go Wireless World Headquarters. According to my plans, we shall soon be in a position to snatch the secret of Go Wireless, and I will own their amazing service and incredible deals. It's rather large in here, don't you think? Buy a Motorola V265 camera phone and get one free. Get 1,000 anytime minutes with unlimited call me minutes for just $39.95. Quality wireless service from U.S. Cellular. Go wireless. Brilliant takes over after a big defensive stand. You know, we're talking, we've never seen an overtime game. Talked to some of the guys up here. They had one last year. Put it on the 10-yard line. College, they put it on, what, the 25? I believe in college. Notre Dame and uh, Michigan State did that a week or so ago in a great finish. Have you ever seen an high school overtime game? Never been at one, no. no. Two-yard pickup on that last one. Brings up second and eight. Hit wow. the backfield, and once again, it's just defense, defense it's just out incredible. here. Can't get anything going. Jacob uh, Myers on the stop that time. Number 66. We got Myers coming up there, six foot, 175 pounder. Well, both teams have, have had an opportunity. They've been within inside the 10. And the entire game has been played on this side of the field. The soft end zone. <laughs> the entire game. There has been nothing past midfield, I believe, on the north side. Brilliant trying to change that. The third and 11 on their own 19. And a big game there and another first down, Mike Zemer. Well, they needed that. I'll tell you what, that place worked for both teams. There's a flag on the field. There is a flag on the field. Yeah. Yeah, did you see it? Yep, it's going to go against Brilliant. No block in the back. So they're pulling that one back. Boy, that's twice Brilliant has had some big plays. They wave it off. Okay, they are. All right. That was, that was a side block. Okay. Rest decided it was a side block instead of a block in the back. Right there. Yep, I think that's where you saw it. Yep. He saw the end of the play. It was a good side block. All right. So a big play for Brilliant, keeping their drive alive. Coach Moreau, not real happy with the way things are going here. Well, he's had a couple that he's questioned in this game. But it brings up a first and 10 from the 35 for Brilliant. And wow. big trouble from the big man himself right there, Lee Pettod, bursting through number 72. Boy, I like that kid. He's got a, he's a prospect, 6'4", 240 pounds. And he moves well, tremendously well. Remember when he chased down the quarterback in the first quarter? 6'4", a little uh, moves. A little bigger zoom lens. We can see the eyes of Chris Levash as he took the ball and saw <laughs> a wall you? coming at him. Here he reminds you. A little bit of a throwback game, okay? <laughs> My favorite. Fleckert going to the air. Has a Complete. man. Yep. But once again, first reception, first completion. Right under the, the screen. There is a flag on the play. Oh, there is. In the backfield, too, huh? 54 with a hole. Oh, they're pulling it back. Holding 54. The five's way back over here. They should be 10 yards from there. Well, again. Frustrating night, boy, for Brilliant. I think there's time. 2.38 left in the third quarter. We're going to this game is just flying by. I can't believe how fast this game is going by. I mean, no incomplete passes to stop it. Not a lot of first downs, actually to stop it. This is a nice looking play too. This is one of their best. Nice play action in the backfield. Boy, he sets up nice. Throws a little nice catch by Zemer going down. But pull it back. Second and 40. Wow. Second and 40. Ball back to the 11. And give it to 40. Boy, Smelter, what a burst. Biggest play of the game so far, about a 30-yard pickup. I'll tell you what, from second and 40 yeah. to third and 10. Well, <laughs> oh, you have a play. chance now. I guess. I think go to the air again, maybe. That same type of play they ran. The uh, head get called back of the holding call. Inside of two minutes here in the third. Ball up to the 35. 
There it is. Buckle drops back, has a man. That's a first down. Correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't that the exact same play? That's pretty much it. Mike Zemer this time on the reception. There you go. Right up to finally cross midfield. And they were looking at what? Second and 40. Two plays Second and 40. Are you ready? And they picked up 40. Wow. That's big. Crossing midfield. In the Wolves' territory. Brilliant with a drive. First and 10 from the 49. Movement. Right tackle. The tight end over there. We've seen a few of those tonight, haven't we? Oh, but anyway, 72. What I told you reminds me. A little bit of a throwback. All right. I'll tell you the team. All right. The Vikings. The Vikings. His best is all pro with the Vikings. Then he played with the Packers for about two weeks. Then I think he went to Philadelphia. Coach, you're working now. That's who 72 reminds you. Why don't you just say, I'm thinking of a number. <laughs> First and 15 as Brilliant gets backed up on that flag. Beckman. To give to Schmelter. Nice hit again. Boy, he does a seamer, actually. Yeah, and uh, Schuster does a great job at linebacker. Number 50. Not afraid to stick his nose in there at all. Does a great job. Great job. Watch 15 again. Playing middle linebacker. Reading the play. Staying with it. Comes up. It's his body across the ball carrier. Nice play. Second and 12. Ball back to the 48 of the Lions. That's green. Under pressure. And that is almost picked off. And, <laughs> yeah, Jacob, Jacob Myers. Myers. Yep. Mm. Had it. Jacob he knows Myers he had 66, it. 66 thinking, I'm going to take this one back. Yep. Again, he'll be thinking about that one tonight. Wow. They read it. He said, boy, a quarterback does a nice job, though. Setting it up, setting it up. Hey, got three guys off. coming. You bet. Did a great job setting her up. Just off the shoulder pads. Keeps the drive alive for Brilliant. It brings up a third and 12. And Decker to pass once again. He needs 12 yards for the first down. And that is... Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Good effort. Now the Wolves couldn't see the number there, making the dive for that. What was a heck of a drive. Yeah, Brad Gast came up short. But again, to pick up that second and 40, get it out to midfield, that's a major achievement in itself, not having to punt from their own end zone. Okay, you give up? I give up. What is the answer? Keith Millard. Remember Keith Millard? Sure. Yep. That kind of a play. You see it? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Off the side of his foot this time. Ooh, real short. So timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. You're watching UPN 32. It only makes sense to get your home loan with a local company that represents the largest lenders in the country competing for rates and terms, offers loans with zero down and the same monthly payment as renting, saves you money by consolidating bills to one low tax-deductible monthly payment, has the area's most qualified, experienced loan consultants to work with your individual needs, and was the 2003 Wisconsin Mortgage Broker of the Year. Apply free, call or click on allcredit.com today. Triple A Mortgage. First and 10 ball on the 39 with 26 seconds to play here in the third quarter as Hilbert takes over on downs. Andy Klain with the carry. He was the workhorse in that first drive, or that last drive, I should say, and uh, where they took it all the way down to the four-yard line and came away without a score. So I guess they decided they start to or end the third quarter the same way they started it. And clock, uh, the clock runs out, so the three quarters in the book. Still no score between Hilbert and Brilliant. Fourth quarter to play. Who's going to win this Olympian Conference Showdown? We'll find out. Fourth quarter coming your way. You're watching UPN 32. Hi, Brett. Thanks for everything you did for me last weekend. Everything was perfect. Brett, you're the best. You're always there for me. And you never ask for anything in return. I love you, man. You're welcome. But all our customers get free installation with the all-in-one.
Get free installation when you sign up for All-in-One with home phone service, digital cable, and Roadrunner. Order All-in-One and save today. So who's your agent? I'm Clarence from today's Furniture Advantage in Appleton. Just when you thought we've done it all, well, we're doing it again. For a limited time, take advantage of employee family prices. That's right, Huntsman. The car guys can do it, and we can too. All this could be yours for what Gene, Martin, Gene, Lee, Bubba, and Gilly pay. Take advantage of employee family pricing. Today's Furniture Advantage, two miles north of Highway 41 on Appleton's Richmond Street. 12 minutes to decide this one. Brilliant and Hilbert scoreless as we begin the fourth quarter. And official stoppage for some reason. Maybe an equipment issue, which I'm not sure of. Reset. Hey, don't forget to join us over on NBC 26 later tonight for Friday Night Thunder. Your highlights, your scores, your top five plays of the night. That's Friday Night Thunder tonight on NBC 26, live at 10. Well, that reverse, you know, those will work a few times a game, and I think that might be the last time either team tries it because nothing doing that job. I think everybody's just sort of waiting for it now. William doing a great job once again, just manning their position. Nick Los. Number 66, staying there. Don't make it a stop. And again, all the action on the south mm -hmm. end of the field. Incredible. We got to the 48. Yep, that was it. That was <laughs> it. That's right the back. deepest penetration to the <laughs> north side. Unbelievable. 39, ball in the 41. Hilbert trying to change that. Not going to happen on that play. Boy, just a bulldog type tackle. Troy Pratt now. Just grab it off their top of the shoulder pads and taking them down. We might see overtime here, Ted. We could. We score this. 11 minutes left to play. Clock just keeps running. The team throws it off. Now, last week we had a running clock situation, right? Marty Coyer on the punt. That's a great roll. That's going to be close to the 20, 21 yard line. So brilliant. Let's go about 79 yards to get something on here. <laughs> it's almost one of those things. First team to get score drink, wins. You, <laughs> you just have that feeling, don't you? Well, we got to play another 10 minutes and 47 seconds. And last week, we pretty much had the biggest lopsided game. Mm -hmm. That was the highest scoring game, game, I think. The highest had. scoring and most lopsided. And tonight, there you go. Nice game. But a great game. First and 10, ball in the 21 as Brilliant takes over now. Stacked up once again. Yep, first man through, they gave it to him. And he got nothing, absolutely nothing. Looks like number Fuckle on the play, wasn't it? Yep, Fuckle on the play, I believe. And Brilliant recovers. Yep, right there, wow, wide open. Actually bounced right off the midsection of the Hilbert defenders coming in. Nice hustle by Brilliant, I think. And Josh Miller, number 54, recovering that one. Still no turnovers in this game. Nope. He's been on the ground a few times. Loss of one on that last play. Brings up second and 11 from the 20. Tough run that time. Well, oh, they're earning every single yard <laughs> they they're are. picking up tonight. The hitting stays the same all the way across the board. Nobody's letting up hitting wise. Coyer, Marty Coyer making the stop, number 55. He bounced off the block. Got a little help coming up. Brad Gass, number four, finishing him off. It's a big play for Brilliant right here. If they have to punt, if they don't pick it up, they're punting from inside their 15 yard line. He'll have a pretty good field position. Play action 22. Becker going to the air, looking deep down the field. Oh, what a man! It's incomplete, but what a pass. Becker laid it out there beautifully. Absolutely laid out just, just a step beyond Matt Zemer. Take another look at this one here. Nice play action. Lays it out. And Seymour just right there. Yep. Oh, that could have been huge. Absolutely huge. But a nice ball. Yeah, good looking pass. Great looking pass. Great round. He was open. Just didn't finish it off. Becker now having to do it with a leg. Punt off. 
Then at the 50, escapes and then brought down, well, John Thiel, nice job. Yeah. Nice job just coming up quickly and grabbing that one before he took a lick, bounced off a couple of would-be tacklers. That was a nice play right there with number eight, John Thiel. Sure was. And these great camera angles tonight are possible because of our friends over at United Rentals in De Pere. From rental equipment to contractor supplies, you can count on United Rentals to be your one-stop source for all your tools that you need to get the job done right. Call today at 1-800-236-LIFTS or visit them at, on the web over at unitedrentals.com. For first and 10, ball in the 46. And Andy Clay across the 30-yard line. Just a dive up the middle. It's the exact same play. They've started every drive with every possession here. And he's hurt. He took a shot, and he's down. Mitchell, come here. But every possession, I believe, here in the second half, they started with basically the same play. And I'll tell you what, Andy Thiel is down right now. Andy Klain. Or, excuse me, yep. Andy Klain yep. is down right now. He took a shot in the back right near the end of this, and there was kind of an awkward, right at the end, it got kind of awkward in the pile. It's hit right there. Just on the right knee. Yeah, it's yeah. twisted old. Yeah. Mm. Water, water, water. Didn't look Take another look here by uh, Andy Klain. Oh, that was yeah, his he's earlier. Been hard. Yeah, he's he's had a he's been a real workhorse for the Wolves tonight. As you take a look at some of his other runs this evening. Andy Klain had over a dozen carries. Yeah, just got twisted around. Oh, it was okay. Uh, well, they check on him. We're going to take a quick timeout. Still a scoreless game. 9-10 to play. You're watching UPN 32. As the seasons change, it's a perfect time to make sure that your car, your pickup, or your SUV is ready for whatever weather lies ahead. Now, when was the last time you had your tires rotated or your brakes checked? Are those shocks and struts keeping those tires on the road? You're not sure. Well, then you'd better get the pumps. The neighborhood tire and auto service specialist who will keep your car running no matter what. People have trusted Pomps since 1939. You should too. Pomps knows tires. You should know Pomps. Andy Klain getting some assistance coming off the field right now, and you don't like to see that. No, you sure don't. Just got twisted up, kind of planted and twisted, and um, well, hopefully just a... I'm not going to say any. I'm not going to guess at anything. We all, just in high school football, more so at any other level, you just hate to see injuries. And obviously, they're part of football. They're going to happen. They always have happened. But uh, just a whole different feeling. That's a high school athlete for some reason. Well, he leaves after getting his team into some of their best field positions so far this evening. And now a big run. Very big yep. run by uh, Corey Zawringer. Zawringer. He has had a lot of carries, but the ones he has had, they seem to be big plays, a little bit more of the razzle-dazzle, taking it from the outside, coming around, following his big blockers. Got a nice hold that time. A little bit of a change of pace. 5'7", 165-pounder, wing back, defensive back. Brings up second and one, all up to the 20 now. And up the middle, Mitchell Michaels on the carry, I believe his first carry of the night. It is, Mitchell Michaels' first carry of the ball game. Followed his block, his nice got right behind him. Then Brilliant was looking for him, just did a nice job blending in. Look at that, just following his blocker, stayed right on his back, absolutely right in the back of his lead blocker there. Josh Groot, Josh Greet, excuse me, six foot, 220 pounder. And Mitchell just followed him right on his hip. Michaels now lined up. And fullback. Second man through. John Ringer again. Hilbert seems, is it just me? They seem to have more speed on this series than any series in the ball game. Well, Clay gave him a big boost. Huge boost. With that big run where he got injured. They're working on him on the sidelines right now. Sitting on the bench, the trainers and paramedics are checking all. He's going to check the knee. Second down at five. Second and goal from the five. Fumble. Boy, he held it himself. 
Boy, each team, Schuessler did a nice job hanging on to that. Each team, how many times they've gotten close, gotten inside the 10 yard line, and just something happens, whether a penalty or a fumble, and another player is down. But great hands on his part that time, just hanging on. So that's that fumble snap. No man down for brilliant. Well, let me check on him. We'll take a quick timeout. You're watching UPM 32. At Menards, we carry a wide selection of the best products at low prices. Protecto Wrap is peel and stick. When added before siding, it seals against water and air, only $4.99 a roll. Use Zinzer 123 Primer to prep new walls or fix old problem areas. It even works on glossy surfaces without sanding. Only $9.99 a gallon after rebate. Pick up five gallons, just $44.95 after rebate. Saving you big on the best selection, Menards. Save big money at Menards. Scoreless game between Hilbert and Brilliant. 7-11 to decide this ball game. And again, maybe. Maybe, and we might see overtime. Overtime, put it on the 10-yard line, get over, give everybody four downs. And I would think in overtime, you'd want to uh, you don't want to defer, just in case the other team gets a field goal, you know you need a touchdown to win. One of those kind of situations. Never seen one, haven't seen one here in high school football. But uh, be kind of fun to see, actually. Well, don't forget to join us on Sunday nights over on NBC 26. We've got Sunday Blitz coming your way, of course. How's that been going for you? It's been going great. Half hour to talk a little football and other sports of the day. Could nice to have a Sunday W Blitz. to talk about Sunday night, wouldn't it? Well, that would certainly give us a, a big smile like that. Just like that. If we could get a, a win. I think everybody in the area would be smiling like that. Is that a wolf print on it? A wolf print? Yeah. No? On the Jeep? Yeah. Could be. You know, Clemson Tigers, they always have the things there. Yeah. Not sure what a wolf print looks like. I think that's what it looks like. It could be. Yeah. Well, next week, maybe we'll see a ghost print. We're going to be over in Kakana next Friday. Do they still have the thing with the horse where they run out the horse? I believe they the still bring out the game ball on How a horse. funny would it be? No, it wouldn't be funny, so I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> but, but, if, 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 if like the ref, if he got his foot stepped on. I mean, it wouldn't be a funny, it wouldn't be fun. I'm just saying. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying that would, that wouldn't be a good way to start a game. No, it wouldn't. That's all. Especially if you were the official. Exactly. I would not want that to happen. Oh, I'm, that's all I'm saying. There's a margin of error there. Well, the last time we were in Kakana, you actually spoke with the official yes, at halftime yes, about I catching did. the ball. He said he was nervous, too. <laughs> he was very nervous. He said there was he had the urge to kind of back off a little bit. He was thinking about, you know, taking a step back. They should do it like Florida State does it. They come out with the big spear, you know, they throw the on the horse and throw the spear down there. She said, there's ghost. I don't know spear. what it is. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. Ghost and spear. No, no, I'm not sure what it is either. The only buys of having the spears. Right. Josh Josh Wright Wright not. going off the field there. Let's say a shoulder maybe, helping him out. Well, second time we've seen Weeding yep. hit the sidelines. He came back strong that second, that first time. Okay, big play here, third and goal from the three. Wow, and what a brilliant play. Steps up again. Outstanding defensive play, Russ Schmelter. 5'11", 185, number 40, came in, just made a tremendous play. Outstanding play. Watch number 40 come in. In the backs are right there, linebacker. Bo. Well, they're in the center of the field this time. We've missed two, we've seen two missed field goals so far. But this one is lined up. This one is almost basically like an extra point. Oh, it's the way it's lined up. Yep. Field goal attack. The ball's on the three. Straight on kick. He missed left earlier in this game. High snap. snap. They get it up and it is good. It is good. The first points of the ball game. Hilbert, three to nothing. Well, it's been a long time coming. Points are points. <laughs> you bet. Points are points. And give credit. I didn't see the number on who was holding. Great job. He, he did a great job down. to go yeah. up. Wow. I mean, he stood up. He went up so high. That was Mac. That was Mark uh, Mark Field. Field. Yeah. He actually stood. I've never seen anybody have to stand up to take a snap before, but he did to be sure of it. That was a great play. And he got it down, and then it was almost blocked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got points. 6-17 to play in the ballgame. Now, don't forget, 
Right. 6-17 to go. Mm -hmm. We saw Becker yes. hit a, or kick a field goal attempt earlier yes, that he missed that, well, but it went at least strong 45 leg. yards. Yeah, both guys with strong looking legs. I know it was a short one, but both guys were strong. Yeah, I, I think you need to bring back more of the straight out kickers at every level. Don't you? What would you do if you were a kicker? Oh, I'd be straight out. Straight out? Oh, I'm old school. Yeah. Look at that kick. Wow. Marty Coyer. That was a seven. Nice return. Adam McAllister. Very nice return. Taken down up there by Alex Geyser, number 51. The Geyser knows the legendary 51 in football history. Dick Butkus. If he's old. Well, first and ten ball in the 25. Brilliant with about six minutes. Trying to answer. That's that play that worked pretty well late in the first half. Kind of like the quarterback sweep, fakes it to the fullback going up the middle, then takes it around the left side, has a blocker. About three. I think they, they've got time to chop it up this way, but they've got to get some big plays in there. 5.45 to go in the game. 27 yard line. They, they need some big hitters. They can chop it up most of the way, but we're going to have to get one chunk, I would think, on one play. And penalties again. They've been hurt by those tonight. They really have. Hurt by legal procedures, hurt by a couple of holding calls. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Still second down. That'll be their sixth penalty, I believe, in the night. For Brogan. Knocks him up. Stop the 22, brings up a second and 13. 22! 22, get back! Zachary Boyas. Turns it upfield. And picks up a first down. You know, I got to Coach Morell before the game said Becker is one of the best athletes, if not the best athlete overall, as an athlete in the conference. He says he just thinks he's a fantastic athlete. Boy, we're seeing some of that, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Just on plays like that, just a great athlete, just all around, just one of those kids. 6'4", 220 pounds. Moves nice, quick feet, tucks it when he has to tuck it. Switched hands, you see that? Went from the right hand to the left hand. It's time to give up the middle. Not much there at all. Left side of that brilliant line coming up. Once again, the quarterback coming up and making the stop. Schusler getting some help from the linebackers. Inside of five everybody, you know, everybody looks at the play, looks at the clock. Looks at the play, <laughs> looks at the clock. One of those games? Yeah. Second and ten from the 36. Drops back the pass under pressure. Steps up in the pocket now, looking for a man, and that is picked off. That is picked off. And it looks like Corey Zaringer. Zaringer. Yep. Boy, Zecker did a phenomenal job keeping his feet, keeping his footing. He slipped, went down, eluded the rush, stepped up, did everything perfect, except through an interception. And I know that sounds like a dumb thing to say, but it's true. He did about four really good things right there before he even got rid of that ball. But just a nice job. Just a little wide with his pass. Had a receiver down there and just missed him. So the first turnover. Yep. And it's a big one. Comes with 417 remaining in the ball game and Hilbert up three to nothing. Give up the middle to Mitchell. Michaels. And by the way, the tough fullback, Klain, is still on the sideline, still sitting on the bench with a knee pack on his knee. So he will not be coming back to the ball game. I'm sure of that. He's got about four ball boys around him. But he's, I'm sure he will not be coming back to the ball game. Seven. 
and got a timeout on the field. Okay, yeah, quick, quick, yeah. yeah. The officials try to work it out. We'll fix this. And as we said, that was the first turnover of the game. Of the ball and game. Clean game. Well, we've seen some penalties. Yeah, another yeah, penalty for but you bet. Yeah, yeah just a clean, hard-hitting, basic football sort of game. Well, Brilliant needs a couple of real big defensive plays right there. They need a big one here to make it a third and long. And then, of course, Hubbard have the decision to put it in the air or they keep it on the ground. But they, they need a big play right here. They can't allow set, third and short. Second and seven, and this will bring up a third down. Boy, they are still hitting them. Derek Hendricks, number seven for Brilliant. Five, nine hundred and fifty pounds. Number seven, putting all 150 pounds into that hit right there. So third and about four. Four, four, four down territory, yes or no? I don't think so, huh? I would think if you punch, you'd pin it pretty deep. If you got a first down, you'd probably sock it away. Let's we'll see what happens on this. Well, he's got to stop it first. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Wow, the middle, big we're going to have a fourth Is down. It? Yep. What a big play right there. Once again, number 40, Max Schmelter. And a timeout call by Brilliant. Schmelter right there, number 40. He's had a heck of a ball again. Brilliant will stop the clock. 254. That was a huge defensive play right there. By Schmelter. Timeout on the field. We'll step away as well. You're watching UPN 32. <laughs> Was better unless you're really hungry in that case come in for a quarter pounder with cheese sandwich or a double quarter pounder with cheese sandwich it is hilbert three and brilliant nothing with about 254 remaining in this ball game a big play coming up here you go for the block i think they're gonna come i think they're gonna come real hard they came close twice they came close to blocking yep. punts twice. And I think you have to come here. I would think they're going to. It's a fourth and two situation. Punt from well, about not really going 50. for more of a return. What's up? Yep. Oh, yeah. And avoids, well, takes the first hit, bounces off, and will set up you know, about the 17, it looks like. 17, 18. Hendricks with the return. With 243, I would think. Tell you, it's a strong leg that kicker has. I would think they'd have to get to at least 20-yard line, 25-yard line. I'm thinking they have a shot at it. Start first and 10 from about the 14. They've got the big quarterback. Vecker, mentioned 6'4", 200 pounds senior. Going to go 86 yards for a touchdown. But if you can just get into field goal range for Vecker, he's showing mm -hmm. a strong leg. Barnard. We well, have 236 and counting. Go to the air here pretty soon. You know, they were lost. Weeding didn't come back after that last injury. That's a big, tough guy. They got on the sidelines right now. William, and even on that last defensive series. Oh, they did a nice job stopping him and forcing the punt. That's a big player they're missing. Second and six from the 19. Becker scrambling. Takes the hit, stays on his feet, Bumble. lost the ball. Scramble for the ball, looks like Gilbert's got it. Wow, what hustle. What absolute hustle by number four, Brad Gast. Watch him come up. That is incredible. The way Gast comes up and falls on this ball. Well, Becker doing just everything he could possibly think of. Try to make something happen. Somebody got a helmet hit. right Shoes on it. And then, boom, coming up in a hurry is Brad Gast. Picking it up. Got a helmet and then an arm to knock it out. Yep, yep. yep. It was between him and Hunter Grant. 
huge, for brilliant. Huge play for the Wolves. Gass won the race. They set up first and 10 on the 23. It's a nice carry. That was a nice run right there. Absolutely. That's number 25. Zaring. With the run. Big gain. Continue down to the 15. Brilliant takes a timeout. Their second, I believe. Yep. Second well, timeout of the half. A game that was played so cleanly from a turnover standpoint. Yep. All of a sudden. Two big ones have hurt. You betcha. Last the two drives. And the fumble. Two big plays. But again, you know what led to both those turnovers? Cumberland's pass rush. Yep. Both times. On the interception, they were in the backfield right with them, with the quarterback. And then on that play as well, he just has not had time to really set up and look downfield. So well, I'm trying to remember. Defense. Did the interception set up the field goal? Yes. It did. Yep. Coach Moreau, trying to coach these last two minutes here and pick up 201. Hey, don't forget to join us over on NBC 26 later tonight for Friday Night High School Thunder. All your highlights, your scores, your top five plays of the week. And we've got NBC Premier Week helping us out. What's the, going on the, there? The new shows. Like what? The, I, you're going to have to watch. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Didn't you get your NBC 26 Premier Week schedule? No. I'm still wearing my shirt from three years ago. You, you think they're going to me a schedule? <laughs> Well, that's all coming up tonight on Friday Night Thunder. That begins on NBC 26, live at 10, and later tonight. Looking forward to that one. Gilbert, second man through here. Yeah. Well, they've played a lot of running backs here in the second half, haven't they? Well, Dalman was a starter. Right, but a lot of right. different guys are getting carries here. And of course, in the second half. Mitchell Michaels in for Clayne, right? Wayne was doing a phenomenal job before the knee injury. Yeah. And again, he's sitting on the bench right now. We really hope he's okay. But it was his play that he got hurt on that set up that right, that first field goal, the first points of the game for Hilbert. Yep. So, hope both he and Whiting bounce back strongly. Absolutely. For brilliant next week. A lot left in the season. High school careers are just too short. Yep. Next week, Hilbert. They will be over at Ozaki, Chilton, Reedsville, and Wrightstown. That's the remainder of the Hilbert schedule. Right now with another tight. They've got that tough running back. Zerbel back in action for them. We got hurt in their first game. Brilliant finishes up for Chilton, Reedsville, St. Mary Central, Wrightstown. St. Mary Central again according to my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Good schedule you got. That can't be right. Check out that schedule. <laughs> so Hilbert now with a first and goal on the eight. We're inside of two minutes. Hilbert trying to add to that three-nothing lead. Well, a first down and only one timeout left. I think mean, they only really have to one run one legitimate play. And I think they could just milk it from there. Yep. Dalman about the five. 100 seconds left to go in the ball game. Just a hard-hitting, tough football game between, like as we mentioned before, a couple teams just know each other real well. Absolutely nothing fancy in both parts between either team. Well, if you like a lot of scoring, this was not this a game for you. But this has been a fun, well-played game. You, without question. Fundamentally sound. One ten to play, second and goal from the five. I think we had a delay here. I got the timeout. Now they're just going to run as much time off the clock yeah. as they possibly can. Timeout, blue. Oh, call a timeout actually. Just trying to settle some things down there. I think. Yep. A minute ten left to play. Trying to close it out. Well, again, are you running plays here? What's that? Are you going to run a play here? Or? Um. Second down five, I think one timeout left. They could probably just take knees from here on out. You know, a couple of couple of things. Obviously, the field goal, which misfired for Brilliant. It was a, it was a heck of an effort and uh, just went a little bit wide to left early in the ball game. You didn't think at that point, at least I did, that was going to be that big of a factor. Missed field goal early in the game. You don't really think that much of it. But Brilliant, they're going to have to look back at a couple of great drives they had when they got inside the 10-yard line, got close, and just 
just had some problems, had some penalties. Um, just, you know, just kind of misfired when they got close. A game of ifs when you have this low scoring in a ball game. Those really come back to haunt you down the road. And they're going to add six seconds back to the clock. But again, the Hilbert defense, when they had to, really stiffened up. Anytime you post a shutout, you've done something tremendous defensively. Making some adjustments to the clock. 113. We'll settle on 113, sure. The only thing that hurt Brilliant now or kill them is if they fumble or turn it over in any way. Hilbert. Second and goal from the five. Get to Dahlman. Dahlman is into the end zone for the first touchdown of the ball game. Well, that'll clinch it, and that's a guarantee. And that was actually a pretty good drive they had they put together right there. Coming off the fumble, I thought basically they were just going to kind of try to ice it. They actually put together a pretty impressive drive. They ran their regular offense all the way down, ran the counters, ran a couple of traps, and just, boom, just took it all the way down for the score for the clincher. With 109 left to play. The first touchdown of the night. Comes right there. So Marty Coyer. On for the point after. No, kick off right here. And no wide right. Move right yep. here. Well, nine to nothing. Brian Hilbert now. And all the points coming here in the fourth quarter. All the points coming in the last five minutes, basically. Huh? About five and a half minutes. Just kick out a block right there by his offensive line. Big hole for him. Take it in for the score. We really haven't seen holes like that throughout the entire game. No, they, you know, they've had a few. They've had it. They had spurts. They've had drives. They've put together six or seven plays. Or they're really impressive, really impressive, really impressive. And then again, just flipping a switch, all of a sudden, Brilliant would just stiffen up. And actually, that happened both ways, where Brilliant would drive down, and then Hilbert, once they got close, would stiffen. Four plays, 23 yards, and the time on that scoring drive, 57 seconds. Well, that's the key right there. Most of the triple in this game. Yep. So Hilbert now, in the way of their fourth win of the season. Brilliant would drop to two and three after starting off with a couple of wins over Manitowoc Luther and Michigan. Some national Ozaki next week. The Ozaki, what? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Corsair. <laughs> do you know it? No, I don't. Stay out here though, man. Stay I wish I did. what I do not know. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. I bet he was a punt passing kick. You think? Seems like one of those guys. Big return. A minute to go here, minute three. Well, we'll see. Will you put it in the air, I'm sure. Veckert. Go to the air. You know, another play early in the uh, second half. Or actually, the early in the fourth quarter had the wide receiver down the left sideline. So they've had a couple of players where they're going to look back and say, what if? Seven wheel. Tonight's ball. Seven wheel, Marty. First and ten from the 36. Couldn't get to the outside. Couldn't get to the sidelines. Right now. Yeah, Troy Proctor on the reception. Oh, no. Watch him deep.